<laughs> now knew what I did. And we're going to all talk about Aubrey's life. Here we go. I don't usually get wired either. <laughs> you got 17 kids and... <laughs> I got an old lady seven kids. These one tied bed boats keep meeting one another. Now, 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 who are we talking to? What's your name? Or do you use an alias if you like. Mr. Aubrey. Mr. Aubrey. No, don't put the mess down. This is uh, Aubrey West. Aubrey with the Aubrey. Face. Okay, Aubrey. Biggest drunk here in Belbuffle. Is that right? Biggest one in Belbuffle yeah, now? That's right. Put it I all in there. I understand you have a, quite a colorful history. Uh, could you expand on it back? Uh, where does it start? Back in the 40s, 50s? Yeah, it started back in about the 50s. That's when I got married. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, that's when all of our troubles get started. <laughs> now, now, now. Tell us about it. How did it get started? Well, I went to 59 and I got my back broken four places. Four places? That's right. Four places. The log rolled off my damn look, truck. Look up at the viewers here when you're talking. Just look look right up there at that red light. Watch your mouth. Too. And, Watch oh, my we'll, mouth. We'll, we'll edit you. Go ahead. I left let here. Mole with two kids, Mole begging and counting. I went to Mexico. Hey. In Detroit. I worked up there, I think 13, 14 years. I can't remember the year. Uh -huh. I moved back here in 72. Yeah. Before 72, though, I run the Moonshine Whiskey. Moonshine, yeah. Yeah, hell yes. I run Moonshine all the pedal like peddling apples. Uh huh. Yes, I did. Now, now, uh, has the has, has the art continued like it was? Have they messed it up, or is it still as good as it used to be? No, I quit selling it because couldn't make no money, and sugar went up too much. It couldn't make no profit. Uh huh. Of course, it's 99 percent sugar in it. Well, if you don't have that sugar, it don't turn out right, does it? No, the more sugar you put in it, the more alcohol you make. Is that right? You get a That's right. Proof. The proof That's right. Up. The proof goes up. Uh -huh. See? Now, now, the water is, is really important, too, isn't it? Oh, yeah. you got to have this cascade water. Cascade water. Of course, we had people make it out of pond. Uh-huh. But that's that old rock gut whiskey. We don't drink that. Now, now, uh... uh Back in the good old days, you had quite a customer clientele, didn't you? Oh, yeah. We sold it to everybody, you know, in the good old days. And it had more kick to it than anything you could buy at the Oh, place. yes. You could, Jack Daniel ain't got, Black Jack ain't got a thing to do with Boone's Eye. Uh -huh. Well, uh, uh, how many gallons could you run at a time? Three. Three gallons at a time. That's right. Uh -huh. So both of them to Casey Jones over there. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I won't lie to you, man. Uh -huh. So you had a pretty steady clientele of, of, uh, of probably less than three or four people. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That's right. Pretty well kept you going. That's right. Well, through the three 50s guys. and 60s on up into the 70s. Uh -oh. Now we hear. Is that the Bell Buckle Fire Department going out and responding to a call? If they do, it'll, the, house will, the house will burn before they get back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, let's get the the, now back, back years ago, uh, you had that good water. Is the water still as good as it used to be? Hell no. We got the Bell Buckle water now. We're going to get some more water. Where did it come from? Come on, honey. Now, now, uh, uh, is it still, is it, it's not quite the quality as it used to be then? The moonshine's not quite the... It all depends on who makes the moonshine. Uh-huh. Now, now, let me ask you this. Does, uh... Hey, look at is there a, is much demand for the for a moonshine now as it used to be? Why, hell no, but I'd still be in business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, long have, how long have you been out of the business? 30 years. 30 years? That's a long time to be out of business. Uh, damn sure it's about the time you was born. Really? That's Thank you. I about appreciate that compliment. Huh? Well, I'm, I'm just saying that. Uh -huh. now, now, what's your claim to fame now down these parts? Well, I claim to be the mayor of Bellbuckle. <laughs> the mayor of Bellbuckle. But I'm not. 
Everybody called me. If you don't believe it, I'll carry down crazy days and prove it to you. Uh-huh. Now, uh, do you know anything about the uh, been up here at the, ever been in the Bedford County Jail? Oh, let's see, about 15 times, I 15 think. 15 times. Well, now, well, you were in it before they remodeled it. Oh, think. yeah, I was in the old one. The old one? Yeah, because uh -huh. I wouldn't pay a hunting ticket. Uh-huh. So you've seen a lot of sheriff's administrations come and go here. In yes, the I have. And can you, can you can you name them all? Do you know? No, I cannot. Jess Cannon's the one put me in there. Uh-huh. Jess Cannon's the one put me in there. Jess Cannon. Now, he goes back where? Uh, he goes back about 40 years ago, don't he? Or 30 40 years something. ago. They picked me up in Manchester. Uh-huh. Because I wouldn't pay on the fine. I had to rent, rent, rent right, on the right, right, on right. Now, let me ask you this. Now, Franklin County is... Uh, they're trying to upgrade their jail. Have you ever been over in the Franklin counties? Hell no, and I ain't going over that's, there either. That's good. They, they're trying to get it remodeled. <laughs> but uh, I've been up there a couple of times. Franklin County Jail? Call it. Yeah. I was a mayor up there for one time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, now they, uh, of course, remodeled this Bedford County Jail here a few years back. And, uh, I know that. The they a little better over there now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Why in the hell don't you question the judge over there in Bedford County? I understand he made the, the Nashville news media. He damn sure did. I missed that story, but I caught well, telling He damn sure did. Uh-huh. And I me because I sold yeah. a couple of gallons of moonshine whiskey. Uh -huh. huh? Go question the judge. Hey, look. Is the quality still? These people are available for dairy farmers. Sure. Okay, but well, right now we're talking to the. Y'all right? We'll get you on here in a minute. We're we're, we're talking about the illustrious career here of Auburn. I'm telling you, all these boys bought whiskey, made them right. all niggers on the hill over uh -huh. here. That what you want? Yeah, the, I sold it all. Tell them about when the helicopter was out here. Yeah. Helicopter. Now tell us when the helicopter. Was well, out here. that ain't not, it ain't not the common horse thing. I ain't been that long ago. I left the beer joint, Moonlight Court. Moon, you, know, you left the beer joint in what now? Moonlight Court. Moonlight Court. Now, where is that at? Well, that's that, up in Coffee County. Coffee County. I don't believe I've ever heard of that establishment. That's the home of the KY Jeff. Have you ever heard of Parker Thane? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, you heard of Parker Thane. Why don't you ask them if I didn't strip three bridges in a 73 Mercury? My goodness. Uh, now, now tell what about the helicopter business? Now, where'd that come in? Well, they flew over his house and lit up like daylight. Right there. I just drunk. I uh, love Did the helicopter get after you? That's what they thought I was drunk, but I wasn't uh, drunk. I just outrun the helicopter. Is that right? They had lights would light up bell buckles. Really? And they shining it on you? They had them on me all the way around the curse when my three buddies got killed over there. Uh -huh. And I didn't know they'd got killed. So he come and told me the next morning. Uh -huh. See? Now you've been a, a resident here how long now? Let's see, since 72. 1972? Mm -hmm. Yep, he was born hoodoo. I was Hoodoo. raiding Hoodoo, though. Now, let's talk about Hoodoo. That's a c community that, uh, uh, that has a lot of renown. That's where the thieves and the crooks come from, is Hoodoo. Uh-huh. They're, they're a little down the line. They're spudge around. They're Gosberg. That's where Casey got his wife. Uh-huh. <laughs> Now, we're, now, Hoodoo is uh, known for what? They produced a lot of prominent citizens. No, we did reproduce lumber up there. Yeah. Milk, moonshine, whiskey. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of renowned citizens come from Hoodoo, right? <laughs> you were right. All good citizens come from Hoodoo. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, uh, t tell me about some of the other things that you've done throughout your illustrious career. I ain't got no career. I get drunk, I have been put a track back together or something like that. Uh-huh. But uh, uh, it, it, you, you've had a great life here in... Uh, great life here in... Bethlehem. I just lack two million dollars having a million dollars and a half. Where I done spent the rest of it. Whoops. Uh-huh. See, I like... You got a career. I told you I got... A career. Gunner rare and die rare, I've got that. Uh-huh. See what? I've got both of those. Uh, you need either one of them? 
<laughs> you know, I, that's great. Uh, you know, you, people people work a lifetime and just don't have anything to show for it. You Look got, at Casey Jones, married the beautiful woman they are in town. Hey, you got a show for it. She's got you on camera now. If you, if you don't want it, we'll get with we'll exit out. But uh, uh, anyway, you've been a been a, a prominent citizen here in the community for years. A, a role model. For hold it, hold it, hold it. Role model. Not a prominent citizen. I ain't no role model either. Mm -hmm. I said hold it. I'm a. I live here. I do what I want to do in my place mm -hmm. and let the rest of them do it their place. Mm -hmm. Tell me about changing the rules in the bell buckle. Now, what about those rules? The rules have changed the bell buckle. I just bought in here. I came from Detroit. Mm -hmm. Sitting out there on the damn. Me and a friend of mine run into him. He said, I feed him country ham for breakfast. <laughs> He'd come over and how a drink with me. So I did. So we was sitting up there, next morning we were drinking. Here comes somebody, I still don't know who the guy was. He weighed 300 pounds though, he scared me. Yeah. With a bow tie on his own Sunday. Pulled up there and stopped, told me, said you can't drink beer in your front yard and bell buckle on Sunday. I said, let me tell you something, fella. We just changed the damn rules and bell buckle. But I figure I can drink in my front yard any time I want to. See, I'm drinking your ale. Mm -hmm. And that's the way I figure in my front yard. Yeah. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, you got your rights. Well, I, who's got rights? Now let's talk about rights here, man. Mm -hmm. Who's got them? I don't know. You, you, you have now, you got any rights? I try to have some every once in a while. No. My Look at this. Right guard. <laughs> <laughs> right guard, left guard, that's about all they might say. Yeah. They ain't yeah. no such thing as right. If it was, they would hang the, a lot of people. Yeah. Right here in Shovel uh, Tennessee. Uh, now, uh, uh, you know, we. I've enjoyed the atmosphere over here in Bell Buckle. It's a great place. Well, it is a great place. You'll be treated nice. You can yeah. drink. Let's see what you got in your cup. Oh, I'm, I don't have anything in there right Oh, well, no. Hey, well, I, I don't have a thing. Why, why don't I'm you do it? I'm, off and on, I'm, I'm on Well, you got to do one over there. Go get All you right. one. Right. Well, but we're on TV right now. Now, uh, let me ask you, you one of the You things. mean you ain't better to see you with a drink in your hand than me? We on TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're on TV. Right, why would you drink a drink? I'm, I don't have no, any more. Well, well, let me go get you one. Wait, wait a minute. I'll, I'll go get you one in the can. All right, we'll, we'll do that in a minute. But look, I want to ask you again about your travels. Now, uh, you've been, what what part of the United States have you spent most of your life in? Has it been right here in the Middle Tennessee area? Or? Well, let's see. If you want to go back to it, I stole my wife here in school. Stole her. Stole her, too. 17 years old. And I stole her. I married her. Uh -huh. Been with her 43 years. I got five girls and two boys. You don't know where they work at, too. Oh, I know. It's up to you. First National Bank, one seven First National Bank, two nurses and two drug pushers. That and three drug pushers, exactly. Uh -huh. Am I lying? Well, one of them works at the one boy works at Flyers Bakery. He puts diapers on the flies, keeps from shitting in the pies. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't never interviewed a guy like that. Then one, one daughter is a LPN, a licensed practice nurse. And then the other one is a PPP, a professional pickpocket. That's exactly right. <laughs> oh, man. But I taught them well. You did? Yeah. Damn right, I taught them well. Uh-huh. <laughs> But but uh, how much how much you bet me you got your billfold in your pocket right now? Oh, I, I can't do that. I just huh? <laughs> well, bet with me, and I'll give it back to you. I don't have anything. I'm a poor better, you know. Anyway, I am too. I lose every bet I make. Uh, you say no. I lost them two fingers too, don't yeah, you? Yeah. How'd you do that? Now? I lost them in the screwing machine, the screwing and that machine. ain't no lie. And I'll bet you a thousand. I'm not lying to you. 
trying to help a man that had a retarded kid. Uh -huh. the over with. <laughs> now, now, uh, uh, that's a shame that the, the moonshine in the quality it used to be. It's, it's, it's getting hard. It's, well, it, it's no, no, no new reason. Why is it a shame? The sugar went up so damn high. Uh -huh. You can't make the same quality and set the same price. You go up on your moonshine, they ain't gonna buy it. Now, let me ask you this, Aubrey. Have you ever done any bootlegging? Oh, now let me think about that. What do you call bootlegging? I thought well, that's what we were talking about to start with. I've sold a million gallons. A moonshine, right. At one right, time. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> no, gallon at a time. Uh -huh. Quart time. Now the, uh, uh, do you, do, you, do you sing about anything that you've done? And you, are you, are you, yeah, I ate a lot of things I've done. Can you sing about anything? Can you sing? Yeah. Sure can. What could you sing to us? Sing us a song about. Peter Rinchum had a little dog, and not a little dog was he. Lend him to his lady friend to keep her company. How's that? I like that. Now, you, what's another one? You know another one or another verse on that one? Oh, they were ripped and they were tore. I got to look at the women in here and the little girls, too. Then you said, I'm, I'm not I stupid. I'm not stupid. I saw that little old <laughs> <laughs> Oh, be careful, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, now, now, to sum everything up, you've had a, had a, a, a great, lustrous career. Yeah, I've made a million dollars a several uh, thousand times. Ten million, I guess. Mm -hmm. But prove it. Now, is the is the food as good as it used to be? And when you, well, it's when you better go? when you're hungry. Uh -huh. When you're hungry, it's better. I just brought some down there a while ago. Uh, you know, they they uh, uh, they say that a lot well, of everything now's got preservatives in it. And, Things like that now. Now back in the old days, they say it it cigarettes got nicotine in it too, yeah. but I smoke them. Are they as good as they used to be? Hell, I don't know what they're good, but I still smoke them. They must yeah. be better. Uh -huh. See, they must be better. I'm still smoking. I said mm -hmm. I quit them when they went to seventy-five cents a pack, mm -hmm. and I'm still smoking them now. Two dollars and something a pack. Now, who's dummy? Not the tobacco company. It's me. And uh, you, you probably live to be older than George Burns. Well, hell, George Burns was my boy. You didn't no, know that? I, I didn't know that now. Hell, George Burns was my boy. <laughs> he smoked cigars. Uh -huh. And he knows when to put them in, when to take them out, too. Did you, well, did Aubrey, you know I, that? I didn't know that. Well, he did. You better listen. I'm telling you something, son. Uh, they, well, Aubrey, I, I enjoy talking with you here tonight, and uh, well, I, 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 we'd like to come back and talk to you again sometime. Well, I appreciate it, but George Burns did know when to put him in, when yeah. to take him out. Yeah. He lived to be 100, and he died, didn't he? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We all. George Burns? No. What's that train? George Burns. You know what he's interviewing that woman? Sure did. I don't forget too Aubrey, much. Aubrey, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, sir. We're glad to meet glad, you. Glad to meet you too, folks. Aubrey here you. in Bell Buckle, Tennessee, a renowned citizen here in Bell Buckle. Thank well, you. One of the biggest drunk. Why did you put that in the Bell Buckle? Oh yeah, we got it. You got okay, it. now I, mean, I would take it like it is. Mm -hmm. All right. When I die, I want a preacher to preach my funeral the way I live. Well, I'm sure that'll happen. I'm sure that'll happen. Thank you, sir. You're more than welcome. All right. Probably <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> oh, I get moved with it. Yeah, we need to tell. We got the stove there. See, Casey says he won't perform. Casey will not perform. He's just great to the place. If he thinks that anyone's going to take a I picture was, of him, he won't. I remember when I was 10 or 12 years old going to square dancing with Casey Plain. Now, this is what I want.